Let me just tell you, it's kind of hard to believe that three people, three adults, could go missing for more than a year and not raise some concerns and questions. Well, they had relatives in Quebec, and after a while, because they couldn't get a hold of their relatives, they called the Royal Canadian Mounties. That law enforcement agency called Irvine PD. So this morning at 10:30, they conducted a welfare check. They go inside and they realize that there are three highly decomposed bodies inside. And so the rest of the day has been investigators going in and out of this family home in an upscale neighborhood of Irvine. Uh, they did indeed have to open at least one window, maybe more, in order to accommodate the fact that the scene was so grisly. So smelly if you can well imagine I did talk to a neighbor who thought well yeah we hadn't seen them for a while but maybe that's because you know it was the pandemic they went somewhere else to work and live for a while now listen to what the lieutenant says about what it looked like inside my understanding is the the, the individuals inside the home uh, the, the bodies were um, uh, severely decomposed and based on the information we've been able to glean at, at this point in the investigation it appears that uh, the individual may have been uh, deceased inside the house for a year to 18 months. A year to 18 months. And the family home is that one in the back there, the brown one. And let me tell you, um, one of the neighbors told me, and none of the neighbors had wanted to go on camera, but one neighbor told me that she believes that the son was perhaps autistic, definitely an adult, but she would see him in the park on the swings, not a typical behavior or activity for somebody who is full on adult. And one of the theories is that the son is as old as. 30 or so. So again, it's a very unusual story. I, I kept wondering, what about mail? The pileup of mail. They have one of those mail centers, you know, where you go to one part of the neighborhood and collect your mail. That is not a very big mailbox. Somewhere along the line, there must have been too much mail to stuff into that box. So why didn't somebody from the homeowners association try to figure out where is this family, or did they just collect the mail, hoping that they were going to come home? Reporting live in Irvine, I'm Susan Hirasuna, Fox 11. And no friends or family here, Susan, that inquired? Apparently not. Again, the one neighbor I spoke to said, you know, they were the type of neighbors that you would just wave to when you got home from work, but did not know them that well. All right, Susan. Thank you.